So one of the most important things in e-commerce is to know the lifetime value of your customers. And Klaviyo is a really good tool to know that because their analytics uh, enable you to do it. And before I show you a segment and a few actual profiles, how it can be calculated. So the software needs at least 500 customers uh, in your business. And you have to have a well-working Shopify or uh, any other e-commerce platform integration. You have to have six months of data and uh, you have at least 100 uh, returning customers who have purchased three times at least. And how this works. So you have to go to Clavio list and segments, create list and segment and segment. So we should use predictive analytics about someone and we can pick different attributes, the total customer lifetime value, the predicted future customer lifetime value. We can also aim for the number of orders or uh, average order value, average days between orders. And you can also see the historic customer lifetime value. So uh, if you don't know, basically the customer lifetime value is the sum amount of the historic customer lifetime value and your predicted customer lifetime value. So these two numbers, the predicted and the historic gives you the total amount. Now we want to see the predicted one. Uh, let's say this is at least $100. So we will see people now where uh, future lifetime value CLV uh, over 100 bucks. Let's create this segment. So the segment is created and uh, I found 839 people. And if we check a few real profiles, we will see their uh, customer lifetime value data. So for example, this guy purchased uh, twice in the past and uh, most likely this person will buy 0 0.2 uh, more times. So most likely he won't buy or she won't buy. Uh, and this other person, yeah, it's 0 0.1. So as you can see, this is very mathematical, right? So if this number would be 2.1, then uh, most likely that person would buy twice. So it's all calculated. You have to keep that in mind. And as you can see, the historic uh, customer lifetime value and the predicted one, if you add those up, then you will get the total amount. Also, the software tells you the churn risk prediction how likely that this person won't buy in the future. Uh, average time between orders. Actually, with this one, you can play a lot and you can set up an expected date of next order flow, what I want to talk about now. And this is the average order value. So you can get all of this data for uh, each profile and uh, you can play with these. Uh, here's another one. Um, Basically, the more data you have, the more precise this prediction will be and the more you can use it. Uh, just one note before you start using it. So many times you are smarter, smarter than the software and keep that in mind. Good example is when you have many, many different products and product uh, categories. And for example, you sell supplements and you know that uh, people buy uh, I don't know, vitamin D, like every 60 days, let's say, but uh, vitamin C every 30 days. And then it's smarter to check what they purchased. And based on that, you can set up a replenishment flow. So because the software doesn't uh, know the product cycle, how often people buy that, but you know it as, you know, as a human. So that's why you should use this with, uh, with, uh, with your brain, let's say. So I hope this helps uh, everyone today and CLV is fun. CLV is important. So uh, just 
see more videos, watch more videos and uh, stay tuned.